And as this count continues, there's been a lot of rumors and misinformation circulating on social media. So tonight we're going in depth on the key phrases you should watch out for. Fact checkers have their hands full with false claims on social media, like Sharpie Gate. In this one, people in Arizona's Maricopa County claimed election workers were up to no good by forcing them to mark ballots with Sharpies, claiming those ballots would be invalid. Hashtag SharpieGate was retweeted more than 300,000 times in just a few hours, according to the Election Integrity Project. But get this, Maricopa County elections officials say Sharpies are absolutely okay. At the vote center, you may notice fine tip Sharpies are used. That's because it's the fastest drying ink and works best on the tabulation equipment. John Silva is with the News Literacy Project. Almost every county, almost every city does things a little bit differently. So you see something in you know one part of the country and they're using sharpies but where you vote sharpies are a no-no you can't use it you might sort of interpret that as being something that's wrong even though it's totally right he says regional differences in rules explain some of the misinformation while other rumors are spread intentionally for partisan purposes and he says there are strong psychological forces at play there's a lot of anxiety about this election um no matter what your political affiliation and because we're because there's these unknowns because we have this anxiety we're willing to latch onto anything that will help ease that anxiety silva says you should be extra skeptical of posts with certain key phrases that can actually be keywords of manipulation like just let that sink in we don't want this idea of being uncomfortable that like there's something some big thing that we're not aware of and sort of in that in the sort of discomfort and the anxiety of not knowing we we might accept it and be like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I totally get it. Other phrases to watch for? The media won't cover this, or they don't want you to know this. And let's make this go viral. It's a bit like being on the bandwagon. We don't want to get left behind if everybody's, if everybody's following this one thing or believing in this one thing. I think most people don't fully realize just how easy we can be manipulated into believing something. He acknowledges fighting false information online is a tricky problem since the people spreading it sometimes have every incentive to believe it, whether or not it's true. But he says we all need to take ownership of our online activities. Every time you share or post something on social media, you're putting your reputation on the line. Think twice before you retweet, he says. You could be contributing to the problem. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.